Okay. So this time, think about the following. Let's say you have a rod insulated everywhere. The left side is touching ice, as before. But on the right side, you have uh, some kind of a, a heating element that raises the temperature at every second by time t. So it's like uh, after 100 seconds, it becomes 100 degrees Celsius, which is like 212 Fahrenheit. And then at 200 seconds, it's double that temperature, so it becomes really hot. Right? Uh, and let's say we can, we can allow it to go like that forever. So it's like some heating element. Let's, let's, let's put a candle here. Candles cannot raise it that big, but like a torch or something. So it's, it, continually heats the right side. Now, uh, this time, the, the solution at time t equals infinity wouldn't become a finite value because it's, it's going to be infinity on the right side, right? So that doesn't make sense. Uh, and I want to solve this. Again, we don't solve it. What do we do? Do we solve equation yes. PDs? Yeah. We guess. We make guesses. We come up with clever guesses that would make everything work. And uh, since uh, you've done enough of those problems where the boundary points are zeros, uh, let's just change this, transform this into another differential equation, another partial differential equation system where the boundary values are zero. And then when it's done, then we'll, we'll say, okay, then after that we know what to do, right? So how do we make this work? Well, it, it's a similar idea. Uh, you, you set u as some function of uh, v, xt, and another function. So uh, you come up with something that would satisfy this, 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 and let's call that v. And then, uh, hopefully, under that condition, W will be some, diff some, some condi boundary condition that's like zero everywhere, except the initial condition. All right, so that's the idea. Uh, and we can come up with a, a similar idea as before. See, uh, before, when this was 20, we said 5x is a good one because it gives you a straight line, right? Uh, so, so here, u is like uh, 0 at 0 and t at 4. Right? So, so what's the slope? t over 4. t over 4, right? So we just set this one, vt, uh, this, this thing as t over 4x. And this immediately satisfies both boundary conditions, right? So when you plug in x is 0, it satisfies this. If you plug in x is 4, it satisfies this, OK? So seems like a very good answer. However, this is not totally satisfactory, because if you think about this itself, this is not going to satisfy the heat equation. You want th this. This to, if you want W to satisfy the heat equation, then both of these must satisfy the heat equation. And since this itself doesn't satisfy the heat equation, uh, it's not going to be helpful, right? Okay. So, what do we do? Well, just think about this one. If you if you differentiate this by t, then the left left side becomes a function of x, right? And that means if you, the second derivative should be a function of x. So you think about, you think about v, xt, as this thing plus some function of x. See if that works. 
Who knows? It might work. It just might work. So we're just going to guess. Again, you're guessing. We're not really solving. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're making guesses, right? Okay, so we, we have this. Let's now plug it into this side and see what happens. Uh, if you differentiate this by t, you get just one fourth of x, right? Because we're doing partial derivative, if you plug this on the left side, it's just one fourth of x. What do you think? Is that good? Mm -hmm. Right. And then, if you plug this on the right side, what do you get? One fourth? No, if you differentiate once, you get t over four, right? So if you differentiate by x twice, what do you get? Zero. You get zero, so you only get this, right? So what you get is you get f double prime of x. Oh, and there's a k there. Is that okay? All right, so we have that f double prime of x times k must be one fourth of x. Now let's just figure out what f, double, f of x is because that means f double prime of x is 1 over 4k times x, so we, we integrate both sides. That gives you f prime of x equals to 1 over 8k x squared plus some constant, right? And we integrate that yet again. You get f of x equals to 1 over 8k x squared plus cx plus, oh, sorry, for me, 24 cx plus d, right? Because if you integrate x squared, that's 1 third x cubed, so 3 times 8 is 24, so 1 over 24k, x cubed plus cx plus d. Okay, so that has to be f of x if we want this to be satisfied. But then, see, if you make one thing work, then the other one doesn't work. That's, like, that's why I call this guessing. You just keep, keep trying until it satisfies everything you want. So here's what we have. Now, because we figured out what f of x is, we have v of xt equals to t over 4x plus 1 over 24k x cubed plus cx plus d. And this clearly satisfies the heat equation because we made it so. Right? We started from the heat equation, so we made it so. Uh, however, now that we've added something extra, we know that this satisfies the boundary conditions, but this, it doesn't. Right? We, we don't know if it satisfies the boundary conditions. It's not true anymore. So what do we do? We plug it in and see what that tells us for C, C and D. So first, v of 0 t is 0 goes into x, so everything is 0 except d. So d must be 0. OK? Now, we plug in 4 into x. So this is t plus 4 cubed is what, 64? But uh, 8, 8 cancels, so it's 8 over k plus 8c, d is 0, so that's what you get, no, 4c, sorry, x is 4, 4c, uh, and that has to equal to t. So after canceling the t's, you see that c should be negative 2 over k, okay? Then you plug all these back in, and here's what we have. We see that v of xt must be t over 4x plus 1 over 24k x cubed, and then minus 2 over k x. Guess what this does? It satisfies the heat equation. It satisfies the left boundary condition. This satisfies the right boundary condition. Perfect. Okay. Now what do you do? You say W 
is u minus v. So let's say u is something that satisfies everything. Okay? And uh, uh, v is this thing. Then w will satisfy the one with the fixed boundary condition. So wt would be k wxx. Right? And then w0 t will be 0. w4 t would be 0 as well. And the initial condition will be, uh, well, I have ux0 as x, right? Uh, so what do you do? You just subtract this. So it will be x minus this thing. So it will be, I don't want to write it. I guess I have to, t over 4x. No, sorry. x minus t over 4x minus 1 over 24x cubed plus 2 over kx. Okay. Oh, and then, then you're plugging t as 0, so that, that would go away. So that's the initial condition. Uh, w, w, x comma 0 will be this one. And then t equals to 0. And this is definitely something that you can solve, right? This is an a equation you can solve. So I'm not going to proceed that, but you can see that after this, you can solve this and add them back in that will solve your original one. Okay. So that's how you even handle the case when the boundary is not constant.